Hi, this is Lynn Schnebley with Educating with Wisdom, and we are now into Section 5. So I'm going to just take a look at my notes for a moment, and I hope to get through most of the sixth section here as well. Um, this one is titled, Meghan Markle, Who is Your Real Daddy, and Where Is He? The Meghan Markle, Obama, Miles Markle Connection. I'm also hoping to link into the Meghan Markle, your baptism is a sham. So, let's see if I can get through this. I have taped this several times. I've edited it many times. Let's hope I can get through this more quickly. Is Thomas Markle Meghan Markle's real father? Because Meghan does not look like him, and she has absolutely no relationship with him. We, she has no relationship with her step-siblings. So I'm going to go on to the discussion after we do this and after we have taped the Miles Markle conversations with me. Okay. On August the 21st, 2017, I had just set myself up outside of the, the courthouse, the state courthouse in West Palm Beach, across from the old courthouse, when Miles Markle, a man claiming to be Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle's dad, comes down stops me and says, Meghan Markle, that's my daughter. And he proceeds to give me a lot of information that I will give to you after you've seen this taping, because I don't want you to lose momentum. Now, I've cut a part of the taping to protect the identities of unknowing and unconsenting individuals, and to save time as well. But if you ever feel the need to see these, please let me know. Also, I'm going to show you the timestamp on these. I'm doing these in April the 9th, 2018. Now, I think the powers of B have been trying to get me to get out there and do this much sooner because the Queen does not want her grandson to marry Meghan Markle. This is a sham of a wedding, all right? But we'll get into that in a little bit. There we go. Let's put me on pause. I might add, that I was first aware of Meghan Markle. You know, it's hard for me to do this on a computer because of where I'm looking here. It's, I, I can't look at myself, I guess. Um, I became aware of Meghan Markle in May of 2017, and as soon as I saw her and I began to look her up, I saw the connection with Barack Obama immediately. She shares his birthday, she has a dysfunctional, broken up family, an absent father, whom I really felt at that time was totally gone and out of the picture, all right? And she has siblings that she has no relationship with. She doesn't help anybody. She's very public conscious. Her entire career is a setup in terms of Barack Obama. She shares his birthday, August the 4th. She's multiracial. She's very concerned with her parents and um, slightly narcissistic. There's the whole issue of her setting herself up and comparing herself to Diana, which she's not out there advocating for God and true paradigm shifts. She's advocating for herself and women, and it's not about God, and I am here about the goddess God and Yeshua. I, this is why I'm here. So we've got two very different agendas going on. Okay, thank you. Here, once again, I'm letting you know that I did cut the identifiers and messages of the non-Miles Marco call for the video of voicemail calls. Respectfully, Lynn Schnebley. As well, I should let you know um, Ms. Markle, I'm sorry for saying that Mr. Obama has set up your entire career. That is incorrect. But from approximately 2013-2014 on, the reasons of your divorce with your first husband, as well as setting up this charitable work with World Vision Canada, with what you're doing with the UN, this is uh, and then, and your youth initiatives. This is the youth initiative. All of this is is Obama, because he wants to stay very relevant. He's he's into Obama. He's not into God, um, and so that's all a setup of Obamas. And you're going to see how this falls. The second thing I would like to let you know is that 
When I first became aware of Meghan Markle, shortly afterwards I said to my powers of be, or my monitors, excuse me, I, William and Kate are dead. I mean, they won't even know what hit them. And then it'll be Meghan Markle with this puppet by the name of Prince Harry, who may be on the throne, and then there's Barack Obama. And so this is how, we always wondered how Barack was going to stay in. And, I, and so let's continue with this, please. Here we go. We have the New Brunswick, um, I should say we have the Russians. This is what I had outside of Palm Beach at that time. Um, Mr. Miles Markle had me correct this and put an H in there. He said I spelt it incorrectly. I'm clearly saying the Russians are not the major hackers. It's the UK and Canada, Canada, New Brunswick Law Society. Look, all of these things, okay, it's right here. I recently took that picture, but this is the placard that I had sitting outside the courthouse when I met Mr. Miles Markle. Miles, I'm sorry if this doesn't work for you, but you did know what I was doing and you did know that I was taping. You were willing to go to the authorities and you were willing to let me take this even though you knew I was being cyber monitored and cyber stalked. So here we go. Monday, August the 21st, 2017. We took this in front of West Palm Beach. These two. Uh, I don't think I need to do that. So this is what this looks like. I think I can, I don't need to. You've seen it. And then there's this. Oops, maybe it'll make it bigger. I don't think we're going to waste our time on that. I want you to hear the tapings. Here we go. It did this. Let's see if I can go to the next one. And here is Miles. Now, his birthday, he was 56 years old. He has the same birthday as Barack Obama. I shouldn't say the same birthday, the same birth year. And what's very interesting is that he tells me that he had an illicit affair with a woman in California at this time. He was 1920-ish, he, and he said it was one of those silly affairs, and that's Megan, that's his daughter. And I'm thinking to myself, she, Megan does not look like her father, Thomas Markle. Megan looks a bit like her mom, definitely looks a bit like her mom, but she also looks more like Barack Obama. And Barack Obama is the same age. And Barack Obama was in the same area. I wonder if the powers of be that put this man on my lap are trying to tell me something about Barack Obama and Meghan Markle. Okay? I don't know. These are questions that need to be had. Okay. Okay, okay I'm here in my storage unit and I'm going to tell you about Markle who came that I saw in front of the county courthouse. And I was just putting this up to protest on Monday at the county courthouse. I had already been to the school district when, here we go. Maybe it was Tuesday. So here we go. Um, I think you can see it. And I talk about the link between Markle and Obama. And I am just putting this up at the courthouse. I'll have the date because I took a picture. When this man comes out from the county courthouse, the, the, uh, the new one where the clerk, where the clerk is, and he, um, is, I should say, in West Palm Beach. And he stops and he looks at it. He's a former vet, and he says, Wow, my name is Markle, and you're talking about my daughter. So I'm going to show you some things because I actually got, I took a picture. Here I was at the courthouse. Oh, I don't know if you can see. U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, Miles Markle. So he's carrying on this whole conversation because I'm saying that this is a sham, who this woman is. His German is impeccable. He knows all kinds of things like that we're discussing about. And he's the one that informs me about um, the Bank of England and how the person who was Carrie, who had been the head of the Bank of Canada, was now the Bank of England. So I'm just going to play you 
this because I'm going to leave some of this as an additional conversation that I'm having. I'm going to make the screen bigger. Um, it says Miles Markle. It's right there. He gave me his phone number. He has not been able... Here it is. I contacted him on the 21st because he gave me his phone number and I told him I would call. And then he calls. So I'm going to play this for you because I did call him. I did leave him a voice message and he called me yesterday, but I didn't pick it up. I was with somebody else. I didn't even hear it ring. Let me let me pull up my voice now. Oh. Take a look at the number because I'm gonna see I'm gonna show you the timestamp. smaller. Close that screen out. Let's make sure that you can see the timestamp on this. Properties. All right. It happened on the 24th, 2017. Here we go. Miles Markle and we cut those identifiers. Miles Markle and the text messages. You're going to see that in a moment properties. That happened just recently, okay? But that's when I taped it. That's not when he sent me these test messages. Let's put this on. This is Miles Markle's handwriting that he wrote his number down. Let's see, is this upside down? It's right side up. And he wrote it and gave it to me on August the 21st, 2017 in front of the courthouse when he asked me to please contact him and that we needed to discuss Meghan Markle. Here is the first number, oops, that that was the number that I tried to reach him at. I left him a voicemail. You can see it's very respectful. There we go. All right. Then he calls me back And I will call it Miles Markle 2. That's what it is. And this comes on the voicemail that you're going to hear. Here he tells me that Megan is his daughter. Um, I question this. What I think I'm, I'm looking at is the possibility, given that he was set up to see me. And he gave me all this information about what the Canadians were doing with the British um, and I'll go into this later. But I just wanted to show you all of this so that at some point I can discuss it. Um, I really feel that I'm hacked into. And he's, he's getting three times as I'm much money. This is easy's. I was wearing just a skirt without a top on, trying things on. It came from his phone. He sends me a few things from his phone, letting me know that he sees what's going on, where I'm at. There's a Okay, so this is important because I don't have the type of privacy that I need even with him. 